Hello, and welcome to the Three Will Podcast. This is your host, Danny Ryan. I'm here with, with co-host Tommy Ryan. I, I, I said co-host. You did. You're wow. not a guest. You're a co-host. I didn't get demoted again. No. <laughs> no, no demotion for you. Um, today's going to be a fun topic. We have been talking about this for a while, which is sort of rebranding what we're doing and uh, focusing in on a new podcast. The name for the podcast is, I guess we'll do a drum roll, please. Uh, that'll work. Um, two bald brothers and, and a, a microphone. microphone. So it's going to be two. Where it's at. <laughs> so two bald brothers and a microphone. We'll see. And we're going to talk about, uh, you know, similar things to what we've talked about on the Three Wheel podcast, but we're going to break it off and and talk specifically about uh, enterprise collaboration, aka work together better, aka people, process, technology, sort of what we're seeing with regards to collaboration. Um, and just having conversations not only between you and I, because I love sitting and talking and chatting with you, but also want to pull in some of our customers and pull in some of the people we're seeing in industry who are doing some innovative things and, and hearing from them and learning from them and pulling them into the conversation. So uh, look forward to doing that. So uh, you excited about this, Tom? Yeah, yeah. I think it's, uh, it is the topic. It's the thing that we're passionate about. Mm-hmm. And I think honing in on that and talking more about uh, collaboration and, and what works, what doesn't work, you yep. know, what are we kicking the tires with in our organization, how's that translating to what our customers do, and, yep. and depending on the type of customer. You know, it is a, a situational thing. Not every tool is the right tool mm-hmm. um, for an organization, and, and Microsoft's got quite an array of collaborative you know, technologies to leverage. I think it's gonna be good, you know, part of um, sort of, the, of who I am and is, is trying to be um, as authentic as I can be about, you know, sort of what works well, what doesn't work well, what don't I understand, what am I trying to learn about? And I think in this podcast, it'll be, it'll be um, you know, we're not trying to uh, sell something per se, we're really just trying to have a, a good dialogue uh, about collaboration and um, really stick to sort of, you know, what do we, what are some of our wants, what are some of our needs, what are we hearing from people? Um, and just sharing like where, where are we really where it's at where <laughs> you know where are people at with all this stuff you know where are people still just primarily using email are people how are people collaborating how are people dealing with generationals uh, you know different people of different generations all that sort of stuff just you know diving into it not only with just you and I but also with um, folks we get to work with yeah and it it's it's a thing that you see marketing of these different tools and demos of these different tools and things look great on the surface and then you really want to know what's working what yep. really gets traction what's uh, providing value what seems to be you know a distraction um, what gets people engaged because mm-hmm. um, it's all about you know the the number of people that are on that network on that um, platform that uh, provides the value so Mm -hmm. if it's not um, becoming uh, you know an adopted solution you know then it's not going to be something that's going to provide value at the end of the day because it's it is a a factor of the number of people and how often they get on the network Mm -hmm. to share and contribute to you know solving problems in an organization so some of the some of the goals for this new podcast and um uh, that I wanted to sort of talk through with you, you know, I, I would like it. It's, it seems like it's really pretty difficult. Like this is a one way conversation. Like it's you and I, and someone's listening to this. I really want to figure out um, how to better incorporate, uh, you know, um, input from people who are listening to the podcast. So, so are we going to do this live and have a chat room? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do we want to really want to do that? Well, we, we could, I guess. We'll do a, a well, like a, one of the Facebook 360 things where you can you'll be, be on, on the one Twitter side. stream. You know, yeah. a hashtag three ball brothers and a microphone. You, you want to try something like that? It's going to just buy, give me I'm, ideas. <laughs> I'm too yeah, busy. I'm the idea guy. Back off, buddy. 
So if you don't know Tommy and I very well, I um, I'm, I start things. Tommy finishes things. Thank goodness for the two of us. We're a, we're a mean team here. Um, right. But uh, yeah. So so it may be. I've got. I think what has uh, what we've done in the past was just like having discussed comments. It's just not seeing very much engagement there. I've had some really good. I guess in the as we posted it up into. Um, the iTunes store, there's, you know, we've got some good ratings, which, hey, love that. Keep keep that coming, but not really a whole lot of interaction. So, um, but uh, I, I mean, that's one of the things I, I would hope for is just uh, was sort of learning together uh, that that type of idea. Um, I think it's, it's always better when, um, you know, you sort of all mulling on similar idea, all mulling together on similar topics, not similar ideas, but something where we're working together to learn something new. Yeah, and we could get ideas like uh, ask, soliciting for questions you yeah. know, from the audience, uh, you know, um, finding ways for people to easily contribute to the conversation. Mm -hmm. um, that's hard to do, but uh, it, it takes effort, but uh, hopefully we can get some momentum with that because we know at the end of the day we're talking about collaboration and it's mm -hmm. always better to have more people in the conversation. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to see how we can get that um, kind of kicked up a notch. So the things that Tommy and I have to add to the conversation, you know, we, uh, when I look at sort of um, what, uh, you know, as we're starting these discussions and coming up with topics and whatnot, you know, Tommy and I are, are both of our backgrounds are, we've been doing collaborative apps for uh, since the beginning of the company, even before then, so 2001, it's been primarily Microsoft focused, although there's been a couple of other products that we've been working with through the years. But um, our, a lot of our background is around the Mi Microsoft collaboration products. A lot of our sort of process wise is, is around Scrum and talking about how we're using Scrum on projects. If we're talking about collaborating, if we're talking about working together, we have to talk about the process. We have to talk about how do you, you know, what do you, how do you decide what you're going after, um, and how do you do that as a group of people. Um, the other thing is, is you and I, you know, we're small business owners, so you and I could talk for a long time about um, running a small business, uh, some of the different things that are just a part of a small business. I think. We'll, we'll incorporate some of that stuff, but I think more of that, what we'll be doing is learning from our larger enterprise clients and also trying to share what we've learned from them, hopefully, hopefully through interviews and hopefully through um, conversations that we're having with people. Yeah, yeah, I think if we can hone in on that work together better and, and help people understand how collaboration works at different scales and and uh, really try to get feedback on what is working, you know, either through community feedback or interviews that we do, um, because we, you know, it's always better if we work together as a team, you know, outside of Three Will with other people in the space, other consulting companies, other um, companies that are, you know, building collaborative type solutions um, and products and uh, customers that are out there that try to get this to work in their organization. Yeah. You know, what, what, what are the barriers um, of adoption and, and what is the right level of investment and, and how do you keep it simple? Mm -hmm. You know, we, we know it's, there's always not a lack of tools. It's what are the right combination of tools that are gonna maximize the, the impact of collaboration mm -hmm. in your organization. Um, if you're somebody who is interested in doing an upcoming um, episode together where you get to talk to two bald brothers, um, <laughs> that's something that will I'll start to put some more information out there. Uh, obviously, I'll, I'll, a lot of this will be channeled through the Three Will web, uh, website. Um, I'll break this off into its own separate podcast. So you go to threewill.com slash podcast. And uh, once we've got the things up and running, you'll see another option for the Two Bald Brothers podcast. I can't wait to hear the intro outro music for this that we're working on. I'm looking forward to the new graphics that we'll be putting together. But uh, I, maybe ending with this is, uh, along with sort of the theme of Two, two Bald Brothers, is, is taking things a little lightly. <laughs> Is, uh, is having a little bit of fun with this, too. So if every once in a while, since we're brothers, we could break out in a fit, good fist fight, that would be wonderful. I've been working out a lot, Danny. I'm oh, not sure if I'd encourage that. Oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. 
So yes, if you hear a mic drop to the floor and then all of a sudden you hear thud, 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 um, and then maybe some nice language, that might be the Tommy and I just you know, getting the stress out. We're just working the stress out. It's pretty stressful, you know, being in a small business. So, uh, but just kidding around. It's just, I just want to have some fun with it as well because I think it's it's always uh, more enjoyable to listen to somebody who's having a good time. That's right. I'll do my best, Danny. Okay, I'll tickle you every <laughs> once in a while, Tommy. <laughs> I thought I was just here for the facts. Come on. Uh, no, I want more than the facts. Uh, yeah, for a good time, you're, you, you can you can cut back and relax. Yeah, you're, you're good with the best. Yeah, look at my socks. I look at your socks. Yeah, I think we're, you, that's the thing. Video. Why I was thinking about videos because we got to show off our socks. We can't sit here and talk to them. Either I got to take a picture of them or do something to be able to just keep on threatening to do that. I know it's threatening. Like people really want to look at our look at our faces, but uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe we'll work it out. Um, you are always the better looking brother, although I joke about it nowadays because it really does hurt. That uh, you won a best looking, right? Was that? Did you win best looking in high school? I, I don't say that too often. But oh, yeah, <laughs> you did. You did. Well, you won best looking, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then I went bald. <laughs> and you went bald. No. You used that to your advantage. You married a beautiful woman. Yes. So you, you did what you needed to do. Um, so folks, we'll, uh, you'll be seeing more come out on this. And I uh, appreciate you taking the time today just to, to learn about things. Things are very busy here at Three Will. Lots of stuff going on, uh, especially with the, the Jive getting purchased this past week. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how that goes. and. Definitely, if you're looking to do a jive to Microsoft migration, I, we know a great company you should reach out and, and talk to because they're really good at that. So, uh, with that, we'll call it a day. Thank you so much, everybody, for listening. Thanks, Tommy. Goodbye and adios. Goodbye and adios.